Well, it is a cold and blustery day in Jacksonville, Florida. And what am I doing? I'm tripping over a branch. That's what I'm doing. No, actually, I'm out doing direct marketing. It can't get more direct than this, I guess. And I'll show you. This is what I'm doing. Hold on. Quality knife sharpening. Razor sharper better. I am trying to start a simple neighborhood knife sharpening service. I have been absent from YouTube, I know. And, hold on, I'm trying to get the paperwork here. And the reason I have been is because not much is going on. So, but as far as me, a lot's been going on. I got a Wicked Sharp or Wicked Edge knife sharpening system. And I'm trying to do other people's knives along with mine. And let me tell you something. How sharp I can make a knife. I mean, it is unbelievable. A mirror edge. I can put a mirror edge. I'll show you an example here. I'll show you an example of mine. All right. Here's an example of mine. That is a carbon fiber buck with such an edge on it. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. <coughs> but I have put, I have put wicked edges on all of my knives and I would like to do other people's fillet knives kitchen knives stuff like that in my area you know uh, so I can just pick up and deliver it to them real easy so I'm out walking the streets doing crossing the road, doing direct marketing, putting this on people's mailboxes next to their little flag. I'm not going up to their doors or nothing. I found out real quick, you either scare the shit out of people or you get bit by their dog. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I'll show you my knife sharpening system when I get back home. Well, welcome to the Wolf Den. Here's my Wicked Edge Sharpener. This is a very, very expensive sharpening system. And the reason being is it's not just the, the, the sharpener itself, because this is the sharpener, just this. Just that right there is the sharpener. It is 100% quality made for, through and through. This is a big, thick aluminum base. It's got some serious weight to it. These are the rods. These are just little covers that I put on here because there's these like ball joints down here. 
you've got your degrees going out from 15, actually 13 to 35 degrees. You move these rods back and forth. Okay, uh, I kind of got these tightened up a little bit more than finger tight. And these slide back and forth. And this little pin here goes into like a little detent. And let's say right there would be, uh, right there would be 20 degrees. You tighten that up. Then, if you've never seen this on YouTube, or anything. Let's say you take a cold steel pocket Bushman. This is one that I kind of customized here at the grip. And you would put see these little holes right here. Let me turn on another light. Oh, no, I already got it on. These little holes here, you'd go in there like that. And you put your knife in there and then you clamp it down and it's super secure pull that out that's a little just another gauge to gauge it and you'd set your degrees and you would put your stones on like this Now this happens to be right here, uh, 800 and 1,000, and you would go across your knife just like that. All right, so that's basically the gist of it. I've got these stones that are all diamond. That's diamond impregnated. See how it says 1,800. I've got them going from 50 to 80, uh, 100 to uh, 200, and then I think it jumps from 200, from uh, 200 to 400, 600, 800, 1,000. That's what this one is. Then it goes. I believe I got um, a 1,200, 1,400, 1,600. 2,000 or 2,200 and it goes all the way up to 3,000 grit and then on the back of the 3,000 stone it's got a glass piece of glass right here and then I take diamond 3M diamond lapping films that are adhesive and I put them on here so that is what gives you an unbelievable absolute mirror edge from hell and back okay I'll show you you probably couldn't see it very well out there on the street let me get this this thing is absolutely wicked sharp too this is a uh, my pocket Bushman which I have numerous of but this is one of my newest, this is carbon fiber, two slabs of thick carbon fiber on a buck with uh, S35VN steel. See, most people don't know how to really talk sharpening and they don't know steels and they don't know grind angles or angles for edges, right? And all that plays into how you're going to sharpen. Let's see if you can see that mirror edge on here. Let's see, now this is what I'm hoping, let's see if we could read that in there. Sometimes you can actually see, I have to go around over here. Sometimes you can actually see colors. There you go. You can see the different colors and everything in that mirror edge. 
Now, not every knife needs to have a mirror edge. This is sort of a real collectible limited edition buck, all right? So, probably your average kitchen knives and things like that, and your average EDC knife, you would take it up to 800 and 1,000 grit stone. That will give you a good working edge. Okay, I did my mom's whole cat, whole drawer of kitchen knives, and I don't think I took them up more than 800 to 1,000 stones, and they were almost too sharp and too dangerous for her. Okay, we do the same thing as you do on your work sharp is you take a sharpie marker and you mark the edge see i still got my i mean it's not like i don't have it my one video i did about my entire work sharp kit here this is the sharpener for everybody everybody my mother could operate this okay if she had one ounce of you know, wanting to know how. But anybody can operate that. Anybody can operate this. But the difference is, this is kind of commercial quality. Actually, the kit that I have, let me even show you here. Got to back the camera up. I'm going to show you. There's all my stones. And my three micron diamond lapping film. All right, so you got all these stones and you work it up to a progression. All right, you just don't, you know, put a knife in here and go, okay, uh, let's see, let me put a stone on it and just, no, you start out really low and you work up in your grit and your the, and every time you get to a new stone, you're doing more and more and more polishing. And that gets into the whole, the whole thing about it. I don't know if I really did much on this one. Um, I put a nice edge on this. I mean, that's just a good working edge, not super mirrored or anything. But this is how I'm going to be doing it. And I wanted to take a minute to say that, you know, I'm trying to bring this channel to a different level. And I would really love it if somebody had a knife, okay, that they would like to have sharpened and be shown. Not only, you know, put a great edge on it for you for free, because you'd send it to me, and I mean, to send a small knife, just parcel post over, you know, on the, through the post office, is like five bucks. I do a lot of buying and selling on eBay, $5.95, $4.95, depending on the weight of it and where it's going. Somebody could send me in a knife. I'll sharpen it for you. And we'll do a video together of it, okay, and talk about it. If it's kind of a unique knife or if it's an heirloom or something that you would like to have a nice, nice edge put on it. Maybe, you know, you're going to be using that knife a lot. So you're not going to want probably some mirror finish on it. Maybe you would. But that's what I'd like to take this channel to. If I'm going to even continue doing YouTube, I mean, I, how many times can I go out to the jetties? How many times can we catch sharks? You know, as far as the fishing, not a lot changes. But this is very much like fishing. You work, 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 work it up. And then you've got such a sharp blade. It's the same as fishing when you're, you work, 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 and you catch that trophy fish. And I'm also going to be stepping it up 
and using a sharpness tester that gives you a benchmark. You may have seen it. You may have seen it on a couple videos. I know Project Farm, the guy who tests everything and does all kinds of, uh, you know, tool testing and did all that stuff with lawn mowers and everything. He used the sharpness tester when he did an entire thing from a 495 sharpener all the way up to something like this, which is the Wicked Edge. He did a sharpness test after each one and you got to see what each sharpener could produce. Now, granted, he was he's a self-admitted not a sharpening guy, so he was just learning as he was going along. But that will be also something I'll be doing, is setting a benchmark. You could test a knife before, see how sharp it is from the factory or something, and then sharpen it, and then test it again. I can do that with your knife. So besides wanting to turn this into as much as I possibly can into another, just, you know, another side job, having another income stream if I could, I would like to also be able to incorporate my sharpening into my YouTube channel. You'll be seeing some fishing and you'll be seeing some fillet knives being sharpened and send me your fillet knife. I mean, it's not like even when I do it for somebody in my neighborhood, it's an $8 knife, you know? So I could do it for you and video it and show it and I'll send it back. Just that simple. So thanks for watching, but that's what I've been doing for about the last month or so, because not much has been going on. I've been learning this. I mean, I've been a sharpener, you know, on and off all my entire life as a knife enthusiast. And then I got my work sharp, and then I got this. I would, I would say that the work sharp was great, but then when I stepped up into this, See, the one thing that you can do with the Wicked Edge is it's repeatable. They have built in a repeatable system here. And that's why many guys that are, you know, sharpening knives for people are using the Wicked Edge also. Because it, the repeatability factor is really good. All you have to do is email me. JettyWolf at gmail.com. JettyWolf at gmail.com. J E T T Y W O L F at gmail.com, which I'll put in the pinned comment, the video description. You could send it in. I'd like to get my channel way more interactive. And if I can't, it's very disheartening because I'd like to get it interactive with viewers. I was thinking it would be a great thing to be able to have somebody send their knife in, they uh, I sharpen it, let's say a fillet knife or something, right? I sharpen it, we do a video of sharpening it and everything, and then I send it back to them, and then the next time that they flay a fish with it, or they do a short little 30 second video and send that to me, and I'll add that in on another video so we could go back and forth. Wouldn't that be great? Instead of it just being one-sided. So this is a dream come true for me. I have wanted one of these since the day I saw it. And it is here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next fishing and or sharpening one.